Is Hartford College the one with the bridge? Yes. Yeah, it is, yeah. We are the one with the bridge. We are, we are. The bridge is really famous to everybody in Oxford, but nobody seems to recognise that it does belong to Hartford College. And it's officially called Hartford Bridge. On Google Maps, it's Hartford Bridge, but everyone else calls it the Bridge of Sighs. But it's ours. It is ours. <laughs> it takes longer to use the bridge than it does to just cross the road. But it's pretty iconic. It is iconic. Is Hartford College part of Oxford University? Yes, Hartford College is one of Oxford University's colleges. There are how many? 38 something? I think so, around that. Undergraduate colleges? 39 would be total. <laughs> 39. Um, Hartford's right in the middle, in the iconic Radcliffe Square. Um, so we're right in the middle of all the other colleges and everything else that's going on. We're near the libraries, um, so yeah. So your teaching uh, is done in tutorials in the college itself, but things like lectures, classes, labs, they're organised by uh, the university as a whole. Um, so you get a good balance of both. Do you decide which college you go to or is it randomly allocated? So when you apply, you can put a preference for any of the colleges that um, offer your subject that you want to study or you can choose to do an open application where they just assign you a college. I don't know how many people end up at their preference. I chose Hartford um, but you might not end up there and everyone seems to enjoy the college they end up at and think that that's where they, they were meant to be. So. Is Oxford University hard to get into? Well it took me two goes. <laughs> It's obviously quite a challenging process and I think it's it's quite labour intensive just because there's so many steps to it. But I found it really enjoyable um, from sitting the entrance exams to the interviews. I think it was good fun. It is a really positive experience where, whether it works out or not having been on the receiving end of both um, because you never really get another chance to engage with like such an academic institution at that sort of A-level time that you're applying. And I think you get a lot out of it whatever the outcome you'll learn so much more about your subject. Yeah, it's something to be proud yeah. of. It was really a good experience, I think. Is Oxford University free? Uh, sadly, no. Much like every other university in the UK, um, you do still have to pay your nine grand tuition a year. However, obviously there's student loans. And in addition, in terms of living costs, um, because the colleges are able to subsidise a lot, particularly Hartford, um, living costs are a lot cheaper than they would be elsewhere. Is Hartford College expensive? So I feel like this is a massive myth um, that needs to be busted. Hartford and Oxford as a whole do really support people. There's lots of financial support out there, um, including the Hartford Bursary, which is a £1,000 uh, discount on your accommodation costs. Also, my rent is a lot lower than all my friends at other unis. Um, and also because most of us only stay here for eight weeks at a time, it means we're not paying to live here for the whole year. Does Hartford College have accommodation for all three years? Yeah, so in your first year uh, you live on the main site right in the middle of Oxford and then in your second, third, possibly fourth years um, Hartford owns a lot of uh, either big accommodation blocks in South Oxford or lots of houses dotted through Oxford. Who is Hartford College's most famous student? Um, I think of all time probably Thomas Holmes. Though allegedly he didn't like it here very much. So maybe <laughs> Fiona Bruce. I think she's the most iconic Hartford mm. alumni. But you know, current members. You're looking at them. <laughs> Does Oxford University have a uniform? Yes and no. So day to day, obviously, you just wear whatever. The only times you're kind of expected to wear something specific is for exams or events like matriculation where you'll wear something called subfask, which is essentially a gown that you'll put on over a white shirt and then either a black skirt or black trousers, whatever someone's comfortable with. When we matriculated, do you know? Do you remember when everyone was in Radcliffe Square subfask? just like milling around and I was like right I need to go for a walk through the square with like Hedwig's theme in my ears just so I can like really live the experience. <laughs> yeah I think some people think it's too traditional but when you get here it's actually quite a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I think we would be Gryffindor and I feel like people are going to think we're saying that to flatter ourselves but we no, would be. I think the values Hartford have. I think everyone's <laughs> quite quite fun but also quite honest. Yeah. Aww. Quite ambitious but not in like a mean way. I think we are friendly, so we could be Hufflepuff, but we're also Humble, cool. kind, what else is Hufflepuff? Loyal, boring. Wait, is that Gryffindor? <laughs>